This is fourth two video on getting started with Python quickly 2022, wherein we will study strings in Python. For writing a single line string, we can use single quotes or double quotes. For writing a multi-line string inside Python, we, we should use triple quotes. So in var1, we are storing Python programming, which is a string, therefore it is written inside single quotes. In var2, we are storing a single line string tutorial series. And in var3, we are storing a multi-line string. You can find in playlist getting started in Python. So var1, var2, single line string, var3, example of multi-line string. We are printing the values present in variable one, variable two, and variable three on the user screen. Now, extracting characters from the string. So we are creating a string. Python is widely used language for data science and storing it in a variable var4. To extract the first character of the string, we have to write var4 in front of its in square bracket index of the first character, which is zero, because Python indexing starts from zero. So print var4 of zero will print the first character p on the user screen. To extract the last character from the string, we have to use the same indexing style, var4 in front of it inside square bracket and index of the last character. Last character can be indexed by minus one using negative indexing. Therefore, this statement will print e on the user screen. To extract a sequence of character from the string, what we can do, we can use a slicing so in the next statement, print var4 in front of it in front, uh, square bracket, we give the starting index 22, which is inclusive and last index 30, which is exclusive. So from character 22 to 29, everything which was there inside the string will be printed on the user screen. So P is zero. So 22 character at position 22 is L. The character at position 30 is space, but the character at position 29 is E. So language will be printed on the user screen by the statement print var4 in front of it square bracket starting index, which is inclusive 22 colon last index, which is exclusive 30. So from 22 to 29, everything will be there inside the string is printed on the user screen. To find the length of the string, we can use the built-in function length. So length function to the length function, we will pass the string as an argument. Our string is stored, uh, stored in variable four. So for length, we are passing var four as an argument. Length will be written through the print function. It will be directly printed on the user screen. You can convert the string into uppercase, lowercase, or title case. Just you have to call the string method. So to convert a string into uppercase, so you will use the string object and call the upper method where four dot upper will convert the string into the uppercase and using the print statement, we will print the string on the user screen. Where four dot lower will convert the string into lowercase and we will print the string on the user screen. Where four dot title will convert the string into the title case and we will print the string on the user screen. Right click on the file, click on run, Python file in terminal to check the respective output. So you can see here, uh, respective output were printed on the user screen, such as Python programming, tutorial series. You can find a, in the playlist, getting started in Python. The first character is P, the last character is E. We have extracted language from the user screen. Length of the string is 47. When the string is converted into uppercase, Python is widely pro used programming language. The string is converted into lowercase. The string is converted into title case. First character is capital and rest of the character are in lowercase. That's it for this video.